One of the major findings that we have looked at is how patient, the outcome of patients who have their upfront surgery for ovarian cancer, and all patients with ovarian cancer will need some form of surgery as part of their treatment approach. The, the training of patients of a gynecologic oncologist involves four years of training additional to their original training in obstetrics and gynecology, which allows them to focus on the treatment of patients uh, with gynecologic malignancies, ovarian cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer. The surgical procedures are extremely um, in, intense, and these surgeons are the ones that are most prepared. And, and studies have shown that patients that are treated upfront by a gynecologic oncologist have longer outcome, have better survivals and better overall outcomes that are, than patients who are treated by uh, physicians who are not gynecologic oncologists. So I would encourage anyone with newly diagnosed ovarian cancer to uh, confer with a gynecologic oncologist for recommendations regarding surgery. Postoperatively, it is important to understand the options regarding chemotherapy. Ovarian cancer grows, I like to describe it as a coating of butter over the linings inside the abdomen. And so a surgeon is highly unlikely to be able to remove all microscopic cancer cells. And so chemotherapy is necessary in most patients with ovarian cancer to improve the chances of long-term survivals. Either a medical oncologist or gynecologic oncologist can prescribe chemotherapy for patients with ovarian cancer. The best studies have shown, the best results in studies have shown that a combination of intravenous and intraperitoneal chemotherapy confer the longest survivals. Uh, however, it is important that the institutions that are administering the chemotherapy understand the limitations and the possible risks of intraperitoneal chemotherapy. And if the institution that's treating the patient is unfamiliar with intraperitoneal chemotherapy, it may be best in, in some patients to receive intravenous chemotherapy. As always, we encourage clinical trials enrollment so that we can learn and have better ideas of what the uh, best outcomes will be in the future and so that we can continue making progress in the treatment of ovarian cancer. But I would uh, encourage anyone with newly diagnosed ovarian cancer to uh, be seen at least by, definitely by a gynecologic oncologist and potentially at a tertiary care referral center.